Welcome! This is Etopedia World. I am teacher Chas, or just call me Miss Kara. And all you have to do is sit back, relax, and listen because I'm going to teach you about Biology 9. So in this video, at the end of it, we're going to learn a lot about plastids. So first, let's define the word plastids. Plastids is from the word plastos, which means form and molded. And this term was named by Schrimper in 1885. Plastids is major double membrane organ found among others in the cells of plants and algae. Again, plastids are usually found in the cells of plants and algae. Plastids in plants is very important because this can carry out photosynthesis and photosynthesis is a process needed by plants which means they give food by using energy, carbon dioxide, and water. It also stores products like starch and can synthesize fatty acids and serpents which can be used for producing energy and as a raw material for the synthesis of other molecules. Plastids have several forms. The first form is chromoplast. Chromoplast is from the word chromo, which means color, and plast, which means living, meaning chromoplast is a colored plastid. It contains various pigments for synthesis and storage of food materials by photosynthesis and commonly found in flowers and fruits. Chromoplasts have three types according to its color. The first is chloroplast, and it is from the word chloros, which means green, and plast, which means form or entity. It is contain chlorophyll pigments, found in higher plants and green algae. They are spheroid or cup-shaped and chummy dominance and spiral called in spirogyra. Chloroplasts contain proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, DNA, RNA, carotenoids, chlorophyll, and minerals. And chloroplasts have five functions. First, Protein synthesis, starch storage, oxygen supply, photosynthesis, and last, photorespiration. The second type of chromoplast is pheoplast. It is in dark brown color and it contains fucosentin pigment and it is found in brown algae, diatoms, and dinoflagellates. The next types of chromoplast is rhodoplast. It is unusually in red color and it contains phycoretin and this is found in red algae. The next form of plastids is gerontoplast. Gerontoplast control the dismantling of the photosynthetic apparatus during sensin. Next form of plastid is leucoplast. Leuco means wine, plast means living, and leucoplast is usually colorless. For monoterpene synthesis, their main function is to store food materials and they do not involve in synthetic activities. Leucoplasts have also types. The first type is amyloplasts. Amyloplast, it stores starch and detecting gravity found in tubers, cotyledons, and endosperm. Second type is elioplast. Elioplast, it is stores oil and found in the epidermal cells for storing fat. The next type is proteinoplast. It is for storing and modifying protein and found in seeds and nuts. Now let's move on to plastids 
and alkane. Plastids and algae and leucoplasts and algae is different in function from leucoplasts of plants. Next is etioplasts, amioplasts, and chromoplasts are plant specific and do not occur in algae. Plastids and algae and hornworts may also differ from plants' plastids in that they contain pyranoids. Glucosyntopathic algae contains neuroplasts, which are similar to chloroplasts, except that they have a cell wall that is similar to that of prokaryotes. Rhodopitic algae contains rhodoplasts, which are red chloroplasts that allow the algae to photosynthesize to a depth of up to 268 meters. So, plastids is usually found and plants and algae. So for our next topic, come and join me about lysosomes. So thank you for listening and to be your world.